Okay, now we go to our regular wool pad, not twisted. We we'll switch to it. Always make sure they're clean. Make sure there's no big heavy chunks in there. You don't want to scratch up your paint job. Right now, you're trying to take scratches out, little by little by little. Same compound. A little bit more on the door. Work it in just like the last one. And then start buffing it in. Keep your buffer moving. They usually recommend 12 to 1800 RPM, somewhere in there. I like to go more towards the low side of it because it's easier to control. You see, I've still got this one tilted too. I'm not sitting it flat on it and I'm not stopping in one spot. You keep it moving, keep it tilted a little bit. Minimize the swirls. It makes it a lot easier to clean up in the end. Okay, now we've got that. Take that one off and we'll switch to our foam. Like I said, this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm just running the middle of the door. Because in actuality, buffing a car out is an all day job. It, it's work. I mean, you'll know if you do it, you, you won't want to do it again. <laughs> Same compound. A little bit on the door. Now with a foam pad, it doesn't take as much compound. The wool seems to soak it up. These don't. These let it ride on top of these ridges. So work it in so you don't sling it all over your buddy. And then bring it down. And you can go a little bit slower with a foam pad because they're not near as aggressive. Now you're getting into the scratch refinement. I got a little faster at the end because it was getting dry and I wanted to clean off my compound so I can show you the glaze. Next step, put your pad down, put the extra cut down. Moving on. Now we're to our fine, this is our finishing pad right here. This is the one that really makes you look good. Take your glaze. You always want to shake it up a little bit. This stuff will settle and separate. Like anything else, it's just a bunch of different chemicals put together. I don't know the exact compounds, but they will separate. All right, I like to put this on the pad, because this stuff does not take much at all. Same thing, rub it in, okay? Start slow, and then bring the speed up. And this will start taking out the swirl marks and leaving a really, really fine finish really brings them to life. Each step gets rid of the, the scratches from the step before. Alright, now we've got our glaze. Like I said, if, if later on, <laughs> just I'll do the whole panel, I'll tape off edges, I'll tape off seams, being really, really careful. Now, what we'd do, if we was doing the whole car, we'd finish this step and then we would wash it. And then we'd wash our, we would clean our pad. But just for demonstration, like I said, I'm doing this. Now, this is swirl remover. This gets rid of them little annoying circles that you see on dark colored cars. Put a little bit on the pad, same thing. Shake it up real good before you do. It doesn't take much of this stuff. This is really good. Now there's, there's a lot of different brands. I prefer Meguiar's, but every company that makes rubbing compounds makes their own swirl removers and everything, and they're all tried and tested, and they all work good. It's just the painter's personal preference. All it boils down to. You have to trust your painter. And this will take out the little marks from the blade and any swirls that were left in it. And clean it up really, really nice. Now you're starting to see that mirror shine I keep talking about. Man, 
Hey, you can fix your hair, do your makeup if you're a girl, whatever you gotta do, you know? All right, last step, last but not least. I've gotta grab a microfiber towel and wipe the door off to clean it up without scratching it. You, you don't wanna just grab a shop rag because they're, they're coarse enough that they will scratch. You, you'll spend all this time buffing this up and making it look good. And if you grab that regular shop towel, you're the shop towel. Hey, magic! <laughs> you, you'll scratch the crud out of it. I mean, you'll just tear up all that work that you just did. You have to go through all every one of those steps again. So you want to wipe all the compounds down just a little bit. Spray a little bit of this quick wax over there. It's just a detailer, like I said. And wipe it on and it will clean off everything, makes a good presentation for the customer, leaves a protective coating that's body shop safe because when you get a fresh paint job, you don't want to wax it for about the first, oh, I'd say I recommend about 90 days to all my customers just because as, as the paint cures, it's still evaporating solvents and just, it, it's going through its own little curing process. And you don't want to interrupt that. You want to have it really, really nice. And if you do everything right, follow all the steps, be really, really careful, be gentle, end up with a mirror gloss. Just beautiful paint job. color it is it is we finished all our buffing took through all the steps that we described before and uh, this is this is the finished product all washed up and clean sitting in the sun well, it's all about light yeah yeah I mean uh, when you look at colors it's all about light and this is the kind of paint job that sucks you in oh yeah it the, just the, looks mildly <laughs> the, the flames don't jump out at you they suck you into them yeah. uh, it's real it's like a, a classy paint job Yep. I think the direction was, I've not seen it done this way, I'm sure it has been, there's, yeah. it's like there's nothing new that yeah. you can come up with that hadn't been done, but it, it just, it pulls you in and the, and the car is so shiny that it's almost like a mirror, you, you don't, you see the paint and you see whatever else is reflecting into it. Yeah, yeah. Nice job. Thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm hoping Marty likes it, I mean, we, well, we we're shot all it hard, to, hoping Marty likes it. <laughs> we Marty's shot it according Marty to the test it, yeah. panel and, yeah. uh, you know, he, he really liked the test panel he said, so uh, he, he should really love this. Well, I'm going to start wiring. Yeah. And yeah. you're going to start working on Mark's car. Yeah. The Baron yeah. Von Willie. Yeah, yeah, we the got Baron. another one to build. Oh, yeah, it's a... a Black hemi, with flames on it. A hemi-powered coupe, so... Oh, a monster. On to the next project. <laughs> I guess I take it from yep. here and yep. set it on the body, and we still got a few days to go. Yeah. Not too many, yeah. but... Yeah. So... Now, I'd like to see him driving it. That'd, that'd be nice. Well, you, you can see it live and in person at the party at the house. So yeah, it's gonna be like an Easter egg hunt. Yeah. Did you ever hunt for uh, <laughs> egg baskets or the yeah. Easter egg baskets? <laughs> I think we'll hide it in the backyard with the other tea buckets and yeah. see if we can find out which ones is. <laughs> so, so we'll try that Tuesday night. A good hint is look for the metal flake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right.